Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to put together two Beast phones, the iPhone 11 Pro Max up against the newly released Beast Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra Mega um, Optimus Prime. If you guys are new here, the way I do my camera tests is I stay quiet. I don't want my opinions to influence your opinions because the fact of the matter is, even if it's a pure fact that one photo is better than the other one, it all comes down to personal preference. Someone may actually like the photo that is literally worse than the other photo. So I wanna see what the majority of people think. I don't want my opinion to influence you guys. So I'm gonna have a little card up top. After you finish this video, go ahead and rate which phone you think did best. Now, when I'm gonna be using the main camera on the uh, S20 Ultra, I am going to be in 108 megapixel mode. Why? Why not? It's there, so I'm gonna use it. That will give us a good little test to see if 108 megapixels is even really noticeable when you're looking at a photo at its face value. So guys, let the tests begin. So now we are moving on to the telephoto cameras. Now the iPhone 11 Pro Max has a 12 megapixel telephoto camera and the S20 Ultra has a massive crazy 48 megapixels. Again, it sounds pretty cool on camera, but how is it like in real life? Let's check it out. So how was that? Did your favorite phone win? Again, don't forget to, when you finish the video, rate in the card above so I know what your guys' opinion is and also leave your comments down below as well. Next up is the ultra wide camera. Now keep in mind, look at the HDR, look at the sharpness, look at all that good stuff. Really try to focus in. They're pretty similar. I mean, I don't know. Again, I'm gonna shut up, let you guys take over. Now let's go ahead and look at the nighttime photos. Now keep in mind the S20 Ultra does have a dedicated night mode, so obviously I am going to be using that. And the iPhone just, the night mode just turns on by itself. There is no actual like night mode, if that makes sense. Let's check it out. And for fun and games, let's go ahead and just include the uh, ultra wide night mode. Now, obviously the iPhone doesn't have a uh, ultra wide night mode. It just has ultra wide, but the S20 Ultra does have night mode when using ultra wide. And this is a pretty big difference. I know I said I'm not gonna get my opinion mixed into this, but it's pretty obvious who the winner is. And now we are going to test the 4K30 capabilities of both of these phones. 
Um, so I'm holding them right side by side so you guys can take a look at the framing of everything. We're going to check out the stabilization. I know the iPhone has incredible stabilization. Also check out the dynamic range. I don't know, it kind of looks, from what I'm looking at, the iPhone has the, the fence a little bit better exposed. I'm not entirely sure, you guys tell me. So we're just going to take a little walk around my backyard over here. Again, check out the dynamic range, the stabilization. Hopefully I don't get bitten by a crocodile. That would be very, uh, very, very bad. Oh, there's a little deer over here little little fake deer so now let's go ahead and switch over to 4k 60 boom we are now at 4k 60 again let's check out that stabilization i'm gonna make a sprint to the other side of this yard and let's go <laughs> oh my god I need to work out more. That was brutal. Uh, but so how was the stabilization? So now we are doing the 4K 60 front camera. Uh, the iPhone's definitely overexposing the uh, the clouds for sure. I think the iPhone does better HDR in 4K 30, so we're gonna test it out shortly. But now we're just gonna go for a walk. Uh, the iPhone's getting more in frame. I'm holding both phones out in arm's length. Oh my God. And it looks like the, the, uh, the S20 is cropped in a little bit more. So how's the highlight roll off of my forehead? Yeah, definitely way better on the Note, or on the Note, on the S20. Because my forehead's overexposed on the iPhone right now. But then again, my face looks darker on the S20 Ultra. Again, let me know in the comments. And now we're doing 4K 30 front facing camera. As you guys can tell, the, uh, the HDR on the iPhone is kicking amazing, way better than 4K 30, at least on the front facing camera. So let's go ahead and turn to the sun. And yeah, both of them completely ignore the clouds. It looks white. Let's go ahead and tilt them down and see which one catches on first. It looks like the, the S20 does a little bit better, but my entire face is dark on the S20. On the iPhone, the clouds are overexposed. Uh, a little bit more than the S20, but at least you can still see my face. Yeah, so, I mean, they're, they're both great. I don't even know. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. So what do you guys think? Personally, I think both phones did fantastic. Some shots the iPhone did better, some shots the Galaxy did better. Now, keep in mind, the iPhone has been out much longer. Well, you know, not really much longer, like six months or something. So it did go through multiple kind of updates, and maybe those updates kind of made the camera better. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra comes out literally tomorrow, but a lot of people got them early. So we're, we should be expecting some updates in the camera, you know, in the following weeks and months. So if that does happen, I'm going to go ahead and redo this test as the time comes. But again, don't forget to rate in the card above which phone you think did best. And also let me know in the comments down below. I'm pretty curious to see the results. So this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.